Age of Empires 4 Chinese Civilization, Impressive Construction, Gunpowder Strength, Dynasty System which gives unique benefits and various strategies. Hey lads, this is Yeyechara and today I'm bringing a brand new series to my channel which is going to be Age of Empires 4 Civilization Breakdown and today we are starting with the Chinese. So let's start from here, uh, powerful defenders, probably a camping civilization or holding civilization uh, just because of their strong economy, just like Age of Empires 3. Uh, with Chinese in treaty. I'm not sure about supremacy, but in treaty their economy is just super strong uh, To a point where you can just hold the enemy at one position and once they your enemy drains Then you'll just push them back easily and win the game But of course uh, they will have more mechanics and fun strategies which, uh, which we are not 100% sure what they are and overall i'm really hyped for chinese which is one of my favorite civilization in age of empires, age of empires 3 so i'm just looking forward to play them in age of empires 4. as far as we know so far for chinese uh, unit they will speak uh, mandarin uh, chinese uh, i don't know how to speak it but uh, i'm pretty sure it's the same uh, language that uh, the voice I mean the voice line that we have in Age of, Age of Empires 3 for Chinese I mean just like this So it should be exactly the same I mean in terms of the uh, speech lines But uh, we might have some new uh, uh, speech lines uh, Which I'm not 100% sure again I'm just saying But uh, in terms of the language It is the same language also based on what we know so far for chinese they will have a head start with uh, additional villagers i'm not sure uh, if these uh, addition of villagers uh, it is for the starting villagers which means uh, the amount of villagers that you will get at the start of each game or is it like uh, the same for AoE 3 where you can overpop with villagers and also maybe you can have uh, overall more villager build limit compared to other civilization but overall this means that their uh, economy will be super strong just because they will have the villager advantage uh, over the other civilizations so they have also said that uh, city planning is an important growth strategy a special trait of chinese civilization is their dynasty system which offers uh, several advantages when triggered like unit bonuses and access to unit build uh, unique buildings I feel this strategy is more like progressing with USA in Age of Empires 3 which is one of the latest civilizations inside the game where uh, with different age up uh, that you will choose you will have different mechanics and different uh, cards and benefits basically uh, or maybe there is a building where you can select which dynasty uh, you want to progress with either is Tang, Song, Yuan or Ming Dynasty which uh, all of these four dynasties are the one that will be uh, included inside Age of Empires 4 and based on what you choose you will get uh, unit bonuses for example your pikes will have extra damage or extra health or something like that and you will also be able to build unique building which uh, probably gives you a unique stat or mechanic could be i mean this could be an economy building or military building uh, which some of these bonuses uh, i have them later i mean during the video i will explain about them for better understanding this will be a unique unit where you can only get it if you go with uh, yon dynasty which is called fire lancer and it is a cavalry unit of course and by the name of it is a lancer as well but uh, there is this unit has a unique weapon uh, which consists uh, as you see here 
uh, it has a tube uh, which was uh, usually made from bamboo and it had uh, gunpowder and slow uh, slow match strapped to a spear or other uh, polar weapons so once the weapon was ignited the tube uh, ejected a stream of flames in the direction of the spearhead something like the uh, this that you can see inside the picture and later on they added the projectiles like uh, iron pellets or pottery sh uh, shards to the gunpowder so once you ignite it alongside with the flames it would shoot out the projectiles so this was uh, I would say a mixture of shotgun and flamethrowers and just if you wonder this was uh, the start of making the shotguns uh, from I mean it, it was started from here so this unit I feel is really amazing and of course if you were a fan of uh, strategy games uh, which consists of Chinese they always had a flamethrower unit so for the case of Age of Empires 4 we have the Fire Lancer okay so then we have this uh, unit which is called Nest of Bees a powerful siege weapon that fires an immense burst of rockets, uh, rocket arrows in an area i will show a video of this later so you will have a better understanding how it will work but it's almost like uh, an organ of portuguese or gatling gun of usa it is a really interesting unit most probably you will use it to uh, counter infantry units they have mentioned this uh, multiple times that the chinese military uh, prowess lies in their mighty gunpowder unit access the they have access to multiple unique gunpowder units which uh, they haven't shown many of them but uh, some of them you will see during the video that I will show later and then we have the Imperial official an official produced from the town center that collect gold from nearby buildings basically I would say is a tax collector so this is an interesting mechanic uh, this gives me high hopes to see treaty in age of empires 4 as well because uh, this means that even after the gold mines are finished uh, as the game progress you will have this mechanic uh, to produce gold and previously we have seen that there are farms as well uh, which probably produce food uh, just like Age of Empires 2 or Age of Methodology uh, which you have to build uh, one uh, farm and then one villager will work on each farm uh, the mechanic will be something like that I would say and then uh, as for the stone and wood uh, which are the other two resources uh, and in case if you don't know the age of empires 4 it will have four different resources it is gold food uh, stone and wood unlike age of empires 3 which you only had uh, three resources as you see so uh, as for the stone and f uh, wood i'm not really sure what will be the mechanic that you can uh, produce them or collect them as the game progress because I mean for sure if the game is long enough the map will be out of resources just like any game regarding those we don't have much information yet but I'm pretty certain there will be a mechanic from a unique building where you can get those resources something like a factory or something like that I'm not too sure or maybe you can just trade them from the market I'm pretty sure they will work something out for that but keep in mind that uh, this Imperial official you can get it from age one so it doesn't matter if I mean because the name it is called Imperial official but uh, that is just the name so you can get it from age one so you can uh, get it to collect uh, gold from nearby buildings from age one and then we have this uh, Imperial Academy as you progress to age two so I would uh, assume this is one of the wonders uh, 
that you get from age one to age two this will boost your tax uh, revenue from nearby building so by the look of it uh, it is better to build up your base layout as compact as possible so you can get uh, more benefits from this building but I, i'm not sure maybe it is just a normal building that you can build it anywhere or maybe as i've mentioned it could be a, a wonder or yeah an age of wonder and i have all found something interesting as well the word uh, landmark has been repeated uh, so many times i guess instead of of wonders uh, we have landmarks which is uh, which are for the age of option but i'm not sure maybe the landmark could be the name for the buildings like uh like uh, for example for age of empires 3 we call these like buildings but in age of empires 4 all the buildings are called a uh, landmark so i'm not 100 percent sure uh what is uh, what are the names exactly but i'm pretty sure it's either of these either it is just for the uh wonders or the age of mechanics or it is called for the general building names we have to wait and see to be more specific and next we have the imperial palace which is again one of the landmarks for h2 to h3 transition this gives uh, chinese the ability to spy on the opponent to see what they are up to seems like the japanese buddha wonder where you will get the ability to spy and spot everything on the map for a short period of time and uh, you get to use it once in a while so it's like an ability and they have also mentioned that uh, with this ability you can see over the mountains and stealth forest and in case if you don't know uh, the stealth forest is a mechanic that looks like this then we have the great wall of china which is one of the landmarks for the final age up it will boost your wall hit point and increase your nearby units damage so once again as i mentioned earlier they will be super strong in camping or holding uh, with their strong defense at last we move to the dynasty mechanic of the chinese they said that the chinese villagers can build both landmarks from a single age doing so triggers a dynasty with unique bonus buildings or units so i'm not sure if it is i mean with each dynasty you will get different buildings and units or it's just either of these so we have to wait and see for that as well and by the sound of it i think we can build both of the landmarks aka wonders from a single age up by doing it you will get more bonuses uh, and this made me certain that uh, we are having treaties in age of empires 4 and for sure for building uh, an extra landmark you have to spend more resources right i mean if it is for free it wouldn't make sense then everyone will just abuse this mechanic so for sure you have to spend more resources to build the extra landmark from a single age up so i assume if you're playing for a supremacy or rush game you usually don't want to spend more resources for your age up so that's why i think treaties will be there as well inside age of empires 4 and i'm super hyped for it and i feel uh, it will be super fun because of different mechanics that i've seen uh, inside the game like the stealth forest and uh, overall the city building it looks amazing i just can't wait to get my hands on it but again we have to wait and see uh, how will be the mechanics for treaty or supremacies or even like maybe there are death matches or other game modes we have to wait and see i'm really hyped for it they have also mentioned that the bonuses that you will get from each dynasty is but uh keep in mind that i'm not really sure if these are all the bonuses that you will get or there will be more bonuses from each of these dynasties so anyway 
let's get to it so the tank dynasty uh, vision bonuses for scout boosting exploration efforts so this is the one that i've mentioned earlier uh, you will get it from one of the wonders so you it will reveal the map uh, actually not the map it will reveal what your enemy sees all of their stealth unit and all of this stuff so that i have explained already the song dynasty access to unique village building and shukunu a repeater crossbow unit uh, which is just i mean it is exactly like chukunu it is just a different spelling so it, here it is called chukunu but uh, in Age of Empires 4, it is called uh, Jukunu. The Jukunus are just where they are always for Chinese, so we get them here as well. So anyway, let's move on to the next part. So uh, in addition, uh, this is we are still in Song Dynasty. In addition, you will get a reduction in village production time. So village. It is called village production time. Let's. It is not villager production. So this sounds like a mini factory or something like a Japanese shrine where you get resources per second. But I'm not sure uh, because it says village production time. Uh, so we could have a mechanic where your villagers send the resources to the village and then the village process that resource to another resource. So again, I'm not 100% certain, but what we know, the village is different from the farm. Uh, or sorry, the village is different from the meal, which you can only produce food for that. Uh, we will get to that later as well, because I have the picture of the village and also the picture of the uh, meal as well. So you can see there are two different type of buildings. And then we have the Yon Dynasty, access to unique uh, granary building and fire lancer unit, uh, which I've shown you already, and also increase in unit movement speed. This sounds like uh, food booming with livestock, so you can use your granary to fatten your livestock faster. But again, I'm not sure, we have to wait and see it to be more specific. And then at last we have the Ming Dynasty, access to a unique uh, Pagoda building and Grenadier units, also boost your military unit hit point. This looks like a strong uh, military boost. Okay, now let's take a look at uh, one of the gameplay footage that they have shown us. Uh, if you want to see the full footage of this uh, video, the link is inside my description, you can just check it out. I'm just uh, breaking out the breaking down the Chinese versus Mongols part so here at the start uh, as you see I feel this will be the uh, the town center that you have so the, at the final age up uh, which is age 4 or the imperial age it will look like this and unlike age of empires 3 where you have 5 age up in age of empires 4 you have 4 age up so uh i would say again this uh, looks like the town center and overall uh, as you age up i guess your buildings and your town center they will have different looking uh, just like age of empires 3 and then uh, next we move here so i guess these two are the wonders or i don't know maybe this one is a fort or something i mean it looked like a fort but this one uh, should be a wonder and this one is the fire lands uh, as i've explained to you earlier and these are the chikonus these two i think this one is the grenadier which we will have another look of it later and these are the houses i guess that you will need for your population and of course this is the wall and let's move forward and then here we have the look of the Great Wall of China, which is one of your final age of options. And then uh, here we have your archers. I mean, this is different archer, so it's not a Chukunu. Okay, and then uh, next we move on to 
this part i guess this is one of your wonders as well so i mean by the look of it it looks like a wonder maybe it's like h1 to h2 wonder where i mean maybe it could be the building that gives you the vision uh these are the grenadiers as you see they have these grenadiers uh grenades in them and we have these units which are the pikes and these are the fire lancers again okay this one is the uh, imperial official as you see uh it is going to collect the tax from this building and you can see this gold that means uh you it got uh, i mean he got six gold from this building six gold is not much but i'm not sure like maybe you can train more of these so you can they can just walk around the, ci the city and collect the gold from the buildings or maybe there's another mechanic where you can get the gold as well so this is the the, the one that i've mentioned this is the village and just in case if you wonder this is the meal uh, that the chinese have but this one is the village okay so it's two different buildings and then uh again as i've mentioned earlier so i'm not sure how how is the process for this maybe they will get the resources give this to give the resources to this building and it will produce uh, either wood or gold or stone or i don't know maybe it is like that or maybe it is just food we are, we are not sure yet but for sure it will have a different mechanic other than food because i mean what is the point of having meals and villages which both of them gives you food we have to wait and see and then we have this building which is the archery range so i guess all of your range units you have to train it from here so this one is a grenadier the jukunul and then these are like a uh, rifle unit i'm not sure what they are called but uh, they have mentioned many times that uh, chinese gunpowder unit were one of a kind so this is a gunpowder unit i'm not sure what they are next we have this barracks where you can train your melee uh, infantry so uh, we have two different type of infantry here and next uh, we move to here this is the stable so again here you have two different type of cavalry i'm not sure if i mean they look different but they are the same unit or they are just over totally different unit we have to wait and see maybe these are the upgraded these are i mean these are the upgraded and these are the stock unit or maybe they are like two different unit completely we have to wait and see okay and next we have this one uh, which is uh, i've shown you earlier the imperial academy so it will uh, collect gold from nearby resource uh, nearby buildings and this one i suppose it's another wonder that they have so i'm not too sure yet and then this one maybe it, it is an arsenal or something like that uh, so yeah, we have to wait and see to be more specific and this one is the Imperial official aka the tax collector So this one is then uh, the nest of B that I've mentioned earlier So it will throw rocket as you see it, it just look like organ and this one I suppose it's like a crossbow machine where it will throw crossbows like multiple times it, it has longer range than your archer or uh, chukunus this one uh, is a cannon uh, later you will see how it will open up and this one is a catapult so this one i would say is you will use it to siege down building so it is just like mortars for age of empires 3 and this one i suppose maybe you can I mean you can use it against infantry but it's not that effective so it's better to use it against other artillery so it's just like covering we have to wait and see to be more specific about this and again we have another uh, type of archers here so uh, as far as we know for so uh, for now the chinese will have chukunus these archers the grenadiers and those 
uh, gunpowder unit which you have seen as a range unit okay again this is another look of the wall and uh, the other thing i am wondering i wonder how is the gate and the wall mechanic inside age of Empires 4 i mean is there a limit that you can build your wall i mean you can build it anywhere or you can just build up to a zone or there is a specific place that you you can only build your wall at that point and same goes for the wall like where you can place your uh, sorry uh, for the gate like where you can place the gate you can place it anywhere or it has to be at this specific location so all of these uh, we have to wait and see but uh, the look of all these walls and gates and overall the buildings they look amazing and i've always been a fan of having units on top of the wall and i'm really glad age of empires 4 really brought that so uh this one as mentioned earlier at the start of the video it was chinese versus mongol so as you see they are just lining up here and then the uh these are their units so this is the gunpowder unit the nest of p the fire lancer and these are the grenadiers i suppose and these are the melee infantry or the chukunos oh, these are the chukunos okay so uh i'm just going to show you how the animation of the units look like they look really amazing actually i'm really interested to test the game and you see all these animation like especially for the nest of b it looks amazing and then uh, the other thing i wanted to show you was this part which uh, we will see like in a second uh, it is for the fire lancer i would say so as you see here th these are the fire lancer these are the mongol army and this is the fire lancer of chinese so as you see their impact got a fire so as soon as they impact to an enemy it will burst a fire damage so i i suppose that will be an area damage that can impact other units around it so and then after that they will just like uh, they will be just like lancers that they can uh, use their uh, spear and then the charging ability for the fire lance it will have a, a recharge time so again all of these we have to wait and see and this is the part that i've mentioned so that one was the cannon and this one is the catapult so this is the cannon as you see this is the catapult this one is a siege weapon this one i suppose is anti-artillery and then the gate destruction that looks really amazing and if like for example if you have units down here would it uh would it like kill your units if your units are like under it or near it we have to wait and see about all these mechanics all these bonuses seems amazing and super fun to be honest after i found about all these things that i found and about this, I mean the Chinese and also about other civilizations inside the Age of Empires 4 which I will explain about them in a different video I can't really wait to get my hands on Age of Empires 4 and I know it's a long way until October but sadly we have no other choice we have to wait until we get our hands to the close beta and then we can test the game uh, ourselves and I hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe so you can show your support to me and turn on the notification for my channel so you won't miss the age of empires 4 french civilization breakdown which is going to be the next video uh, and until then stay safe have fun and goodbye